What's up everybody, welcome back to another gaming session, and it's not very often that you have a video game that can pull an entire gaming community together, as we all anticipate the much uh, long-awaited release of the first teaser trailer for Grand Theft Auto 6. I, I feel like at this point, because there is no real confirmed release date for when this teaser trailer is going to come out, everything is just a freaking waiting game. And listen, we waited when GTA 5 came out. It was a there was a long gap uh, between GTA 4 and GTA 5. It wasn't like when the PlayStation 2 you had Grand Theft Auto 3, then you had Grand Theft Auto Vice City, and then you had Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Pretty quickly, uh, all close together, and these games have become so massive in their scope. And uh, so much has gone into even GTA Online itself that the game is so, such a, a huge game and such a huge monumental project that it takes such a long time for it to finally be released. But hey, when GTA 6 comes out, we're all going to be playing it. We're all going to sit there and uh, to be talking about it. And honestly... I want to see the teaser trailer, but I also feel like we've waited this long that I don't want to see it. But this part of what I do, right? It's part of what I do here on Gaming Sessions is I talk about upcoming projects, upcoming games. But there is uh, one story that I had basically uh, read and found, and it was uh, courtesy of Reddit. And basically, a fan claims they've quit smoking so they can live long enough to play GTA 6. And this is the this is the threat the discussion here. Uh, it says GTA 6 anticipation has got me to quit smoking. Title really. I've been a fairly heavy smoker for a while now. Lately, I've been coughing a lot more and just feeling like shit from the cigarettes. But addiction is a hell of a thing. And that it is, my friend. That it is. I I know it from experience. I am so hyped for GTA 6. The thought of being in hot in a hospital or on heavy medication as a result of cigarettes has got me to quit cold turkey. Uh, might not be. Uh, you kind of if you've been addicted for a long time to anything, you do not want to just quit cold turkey. You are going to have serious withdrawals. It's going to be extremely painful, and it's just not intelligent. Quitting anything cold turkey is just a recipe for disaster and causing bad things to happen to you. They are going to cause you to relapse and, and basically eventually or right away. So I do not recommend quitting anything cold turkey. Hell, if you've been drinking energy drinks, uh, Rockstar, Red Bull, G Fuel, whatever it might be, if you've been drinking energy drinks for a long period of time, let's say you're taking 300 milligrams of caffeine a day or 200 milligrams of caffeine a day in like a ghost can, which ghost to me, their uh, sour green apple is probably the best uh, energy drink I've ever had in my life. But anyway, if you quit that, and you're like for me, I've been drinking caffeine drinks for probably seven, eight years. If I, all of a sudden I quit cold turkey and I've tried, uh, I start to get withdrawals. I start to get migraines, really bad migraines. I start to kind of shake, jitter a little bit. It sucks. It's not a good thing. Never quit anything cold turkey. So this person, hopefully they're okay and hopefully uh, they succeed, but it's not a good idea in general. And uh, they finish this with, I will not miss out on this game and want to be in my best possible health for it. Today is 10 days free. Thanks, Rockstar. Oh, well, there you go. Uh, 10 days free. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm happy that uh, this game has motivated him to quit smoking. I think anytime, you know, there's certain things, uh, like for me, I wanted to make sure that, you know, I live long enough to see the sequels, uh, the Star Wars sequel trilogy. I, I probably regret that, um, not living or anything like that, no, but, you know, this the sequel trilogy was trash, uh, although Last Jedi was actually good. I, I thought throwing away the whole entire thing and making a mockery of it was absolutely the best course of action. But anyway, it don't matter. Uh, <laughs> basically, this is a cool story, and I just kind of wanted to talk about it and share it because I just, I think stuff like this is really cool because when you have a game that 
you know, for me, it was Kingdom Hearts 3. I wanted to make sure I lived long enough to play Kingdom Hearts 3. I played it. It was okay. It wasn't as great as I wanted it to be. But at least it motivated me enough to uh, quit uh, doing what I was doing and I was addicted to. So I want to live long enough to play that game. And if it takes GTA 6 for this person to want to better their health and better their life, more power to them. Uh, more power to anybody who finds uh, entertainment that important or a game that important or a movie that important. That that's what you need to uh, kick off uh, your uh, health, uh, new healthy lifestyle or whatever it might be. Uh, let us know, though. Are you, uh, <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know why I'm asking. I'm sure you are. But are you, uh, what do you think GTA 6 is going to have? Uh, what, what do you think, like, uh, where do you think the location? What do you think are the possible main characters? Do you think it's going to be, because I've heard rumors like a Bonnie and Clyde situation. Do you think that's a possibility? Let us know in the comments down below. And uh, how excited are you for GTA 6? Maybe you hate Grand Theft Auto and you really just want to just rail into Grand Theft Auto and how terrible it is. Why do I give a fuck? Go ahead in our comments section down below and let us know why GTA is the worst game that you ever played in your life. Uh, and uh, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to hit subscribe and then hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss out on videos like this from us in the future. And then in the description, you also check out me and my brother Rocky's all over the socials. And thank you so much for chilling with me uh, during another gaming session. And we'll see you all in the next one. This out of my head to the depths of the universe It's a spell or a chance just to open up a new occurrence If I swim too far then my head goes under If we take it as it is then there ain't no wonder It's hard to imagine that just one